Hello, everybody. I got Ian. Wow. Aiden. Oh. <laughs> works probably closest with Ian on everything DFK related. Yeah, and probably everything related. <laughs> so how did you and, and Ian get started working together? How'd mm -hmm. that start? So the story of that is actually the story of the start of Wisdom Gaming. When I was 16, my dad asked me and my brothers at the dinner table, uh, he said, would you guys rather go and watch Call of Duty event or a Minecraft stream or watch a Twins game? The Twins being the yeah. Minnesota baseball team because we all live here. And unanimously, me and all my brothers answered the gaming-related one. So then after that, he really made a decision of, wow, gaming content is the future. How can I get into this? And at the time, I had a teacher who was a uh, former pro smite player, uh, was trying to start the high school scene for esports Minnesota. So I connected him and my dad. Uh, my dad founded Wisdom Gaming, and then that teacher and I, uh, at the start, founded uh, what is now called MNVO, which is the State High School League for esports. So then from there, we really only knew like what the vision was for the high school league, but the rest of it, we didn't really have an expert. And then my dad met Ian, brought him on, and uh, from there, Ian co-founded Wisdom, turning it to what it is now, uh, a massive gaming content and production company. And then from there, Ian started mentoring me, and him and I would literally, I would wake up at 4 a.m., work, 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 go to school. As soon as it hit 3 p.m., drive straight down to the office, sit next to Ian, and work for the entire day until like 9 p.m. He would leave, I'd work until 12, go home, repeat. Um, and that was how Ian and I started working together. So mm -hmm. when, you know, you had Wisdom Games mm -hmm. and then Wisdom Labs yeah. kind of broke mm -hmm. off, is that like you're in his brainchild of like, we need our own little spot, we Basically. need our own little control? I had to get an opportunity to talk to you about how freaking weird it is, <laughs> how this got started. Yeah. So Ian had gotten Wisdom to a point where uh, it had a team uh, that like, we had our vision, we grew and wouldn't necessarily say there wasn't much need for him because there's always need for Ian, but yeah. that he felt comfortable stepping aside and starting something else within the company. What was it like you posted something on Twitter initially? Well, okay, so go back in time to when the Harmony hack happened. That, terrible time. It was a terrible time. We were all uh, experiencing much grief. Um, and it was at that time that Wisdom Labs had like really started to like take shape and we had established a bunch of really cool relationships with a bunch of different blockchains and at the time i was but a humble pervy sage and i was still just like shit posting on twitter and you know making memes and uh whatnot him and i had been really into crypto for a while he taught me almost everything i know there but when dfk started uh, he showed me it and we really wanted to start getting into like the building aspect of it I care about this project immensely and have been involved, but I've been a player since the very beginning. And so, like, I just wanted a more stable situation. I just, you just put it I up. Want, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I remember it so vividly, too, because it was right after the Harmony incident. Mm -hmm. And Ian and I were ve both very passionate about DFK. And we're like, how can we help? So Ian reached out and we're like, oh, it's probably just going to be a shot and a miss. No way they go with us. I just added DeFi Kingdoms. Hey, hey, I think I can. Uh, help now at that point we we're just operating as like still under the wisdom name yeah and then i think once we got in touch with DeFi kingdoms is when it really just became wisdom labs and kind of a company within the company and the fact that you just put it out there into the world when you think about the fact that this was during the harmony hack yeah so the idea of me responding to a random pervy yeah, stage pretty, on Twitter you're really fearless. pushed it. You're, you're fearless. Like, and it was supposed it to be... have been terrible. I would have been psycho. It was supposed <laughs> to be a 15-minute quick call. Yeah. And it was like, like, two, it was hours. like two hours. That call was... I, I was I was nervous. I, I think I've said this in a couple of different interviews of just like the old adage of like never meet your heroes like i was i was actually legit like oh god am i gonna meet these guys and they're gonna be the pits and i'm gonna like not love this project anymore and it was just so great yeah like, it was just awesome i mean we really did talk for two hours and it was like instant like oh my god we should just oh my god i think it's the combination of just him being a visionary or a world builder in general with him being so passionate 
about this game and just wanting to see it become the best thing it can be that I think we're really laying the footworks for one of, if not, what will be the best Web3 title. Well, anything else that you want to add before I let you go? Should people follow you on socials? Or... <laughs> yeah, if you want to follow me on Twitter, it's 0xadin uh, or oxadin. Uh, but I think the best thing I can leave with is after meeting the team behind DFK in person, uh, the dev, art, media side, everything, I mean, you guys are great people. Uh, and I think the community can only see that uh, from a fraction because they don't get the amount of interaction that we got today. So yeah. this project is in really good hands and I'm super excited to bring and I, it to fruition. I, I'm the worst of them. So <laughs> if you like me, then it just goes up from there. Thank you as always, Ian. Thanks, man. It's been go, an absolute now, pleasure. Now go back and, and pump that thing out that we need. <laughs> right. Bye, guys. Thank you, guys. Thanks for having me, dude. I, well, I really appreciate you coming mm -hmm. and stopping by and talking to us. Yeah, uh, for sure. Once again, Aiden from Wisdom. And... Uh, See you next time.